and welcome to this overview of the SAS portal framework for SAS Wire. In this video, I will walk you through on how to set this portal up, what it's used for, and how you can customize it to your own liking. If you have any issues, feature requests, or other ideas, please submit them via the GitHub interface. So let's get started. So here we are looking at our repository that we are going to build off of. Now, in order to get this to work, we have to have a web server available to us that has SSL enabled. In my case, I host the web server in the same Kubernetes cluster and under the same endpoint as my SAS via server, just in a separate namespace. I recommend this setup as there is a lot of convenience that comes with it, but you don't have to. You can host it somewhere else if you want to. Now, for the setup, we are just going to get code, then copy the URL to clipboard, go into our web server and type git clone. Now, this will pull all of the repository down into my folder and make it available to me as the SAS portal framework for SAS via. Now, that will be the URL for our portal. In order to get this up and running, you have to follow two steps before you can actually make use of it. These are described down here in the prerequisites, where you have to follow the setup guide for the SAS Visual Analytics SDK and the SAS Content SDK, mainly adding additional configurations into your environment manager. Note, for this, you will have to be a SAS administrator and you can't just perform this as a simple user. Additionally, if you want to combine this framework with content you still have in SAS 9, like stored processes or web report studio reports, you have to follow this additional setup on your SAS 9 environment. Again, here, you need to be a SAS administrator in able to configure this setting. Now, with that being said, let's move on, assuming that we have everything set up and configured correctly for us. We are going to import the example content. This is a great starting off point that is available together with the repository that you can add to your environment and get an easy feel and understanding of what this is. So let me first import the portal content via the SAS environment manager and then the import and just go ahead and click import. This will create a folder on the public called portal. And if you use this setup, everything will just work out of the box. We will talk about how you can change the location and different folders in a second here. Now let's also import the second package, the content package. This is just to make available some jobs that we will make available within the portal here. So let's hit import. And it is done. And if we switch to the content view under SAS content public, you will now see two folders, one called portal and one called content. The content folder only contains things like SAS jobs, VA report, etc., and the portal one contains the actual structure of this portal. Now, a portal is organized into folders and then inside of those folders are JSON files. We'll talk about that more in a second. Let's take a look at what this actually gave us. So we are going to pull back, take the, the URI for our web server. So we will go to our web server, load up our portal, and we are logged in. Now, this is happening behind the scenes because we are already authenticated with SAS via. If we are logged out, it would prompt us, um, or if you have SSO enabled, it would pick that up. It also greets us in the top right with um, my name and the ability to log out, and there is also a link back into my SAS via environment, so I can switch between the two. Now, the 
default portal that the ships with comes with four pages inside of it. We have uh, use case one, which just introduces you to some of the um, objects that you can add to your page, like a text with links in it, um, or you, we have a link list where you can click on a link and it will take you to a corresponding page. We have the ability to run SAS jobs through the SAS job execution. And here you can see a management tool for administrators to configure OAuth clients as an example. We can of course also integrate VA reports. Not only can we integrate full reports, but we can also integrate pages or even just objects within a page. If you are a user of the SAS microanalytics service, there's also a testing tool that enables you to pick up all the published models and decisions within your environment and interactively score all of them. And finally, we have the portal builder. This is a tool that is available to you in order to extend or reduce what's available within here. A simple piece here is the ability to change the order and all these changes are picked up when you refresh the page and then now the mouse tester is the first tool we would see. Um, let's talk about how you can authorize this because you might not want everybody to have access to the portal builder. For this, we make use of the content page in SAS Environment Manager where this portal builder is corresponding to a folder. Now, of course, you can add authorization on top of this folder to give certain people access or restrict it as you see fit. And that not only applies on a folder level, but you can dig even deeper, let's say our use case one. If you don't want somebody to see the first text, for example, you can add an authorization just on that specific piece. So there's a lot of great tooling in place for you to authorize and customize what people see within that page. In addition to this, when you are building a new report, you can both edit existing pages through this interface, or you could even create completely new pages. I know the UI isn't the prettiest for this, but as you walk through it, I hope you will find that it works and it does the job it's supposed to be doing. Otherwise, if you prefer writing JSON directly, you can also take a look at the documentation, the portlet readme, where all of these objects are described in detail, all the functionality is described in detail, so you can also edit and build on top of your portal just using um, the SAS via APIs in general. Now, for someone that wants to contribute to this, the structure of this portal is rather straightforward. There is a J JavaScript um, folder which contains two subfolders, one called objects, one called utilities. The objects folder contains content like the VA report, and that just pulls on different aspects and then displays those new objects on the page. And the utility folder contains a whole bunch of utility functions that you can build on top of or contribute to in order to expand what is possible with these objects. So utilities are built into objects and objects are what is displayed on screen. When it comes to multi-language support, out of the box, this portal comes with German and English support that is picked up by your browser locale. If you want to add an additional one, you just have to take the two letter ISO code, copy an existing JSON and translate it. And of course, I'm happy to receive contributions when it comes to these languages. The contribution uh, mechanism is described in the contributing.md. So please feel free to read through that and help me improve this. Now for admins that might want to extend this even further or don't like to set my specific parameters. Here are three configuration items that an admin can change to change the behavior of this portal. The first one is 
um, the via server URL. If you deploy it under the same endpoint, use this base mechanism. If your SAS via server and your web server are located under different endpoints, just replace this with the one of your SAS via server. Next is the URL, the ID of the portal folder. Now, if you imported the example content, then this will just naturally match up. If you create your own folder, you will have to specify a different ID here that you can also pick up from the SAS environment manager. If you click on the folder and if we click on a folder here, go to more URI and then you copy this ID back here. And that is what you should be putting into this config. And then if you don't like the name SAS portal for this application, also displayed up here, you can just put whatever name you want this to be picked up to be displayed here. So this is how you can configure this. The options are endless of what you can do with this, how you arrange your content. There's a whole bunch to dig into that I'm not going to here, but please feel free to read through the documentation, suggest enhancements, and if you find a bug, please report it as well. I hope you enjoyed this new utility and let me know what you think. Bye-bye.